It's a leap year, so it's February 29th, and that means it's time for a monthly update. Hey, it's Ben Price. Thanks so much for joining me once again for a monthly update. This one's a special one because it has been one year since I've started doing these monthly updates. Uh, I didn't know how it was going to go. I didn't know if I was going to be able to keep up the schedule of doing these things because I, I write the little newsletter part of it. I film the video part of it, which you are currently watching. Um, and it's a lot of work to, to do these things and get them out on time, but I've kept up with it. I'm pretty proud of myself. I hope to do it for another year. I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, if you're watching it now, I assume that you do. But it's been one year since, one year and one day, because I would have put out the first one on the 28th, and it's a leap year, so I got an extra day in there to get this one out. But one year of the monthly updates. February was actually a really busy month. I didn't start it on a ship like I normally do. I was at home. I did leave a ship at the end of January to get home for the first, but I was home for the first 14 days of February. Uh, I visited my grandma. I went down to see her. I always love to visit when I get home just for a little bit, even if it's for a, a day or two, I love to go and see her. And then obviously my, my family, my parents and my sister, uh, I got to visit as well, just at the beginning of February, which is really nice. When I got home from Lethbridge, uh, back to Calgary, Tori, our friends Tamil and Tom and I went skiing. Now I haven't been skiing for probably since I was six years old, five years old. I actually don't remember how old I was when we went, but I went one time with my family. They're not big skiers, so I didn't do it as a, as a uh, child, but Tori and I rented the skis, the boots, the helmet, uh, the poles, all of that stuff. I have the outfit already. I bought an outfit because Tori and I uh, went snow tubing, which was quite fun, but uh, I got to use the ski outfit for what it's uh, built for, which was skiing. Um, and I picked it up quite quickly. I feel like I did an okay job at it. Tom, who is an avid skier, said that I did an okay job, so I take his word for it. I, I feel like he wouldn't lie to me, but I fell quite a few times, I would probably guess six or seven times. Uh, we stuck to the green hills, which for those of you who don't know, I didn't know this, the hills are color coded and uh, the green ones are at the easy hills, but they were still quite challenging. And this is coming from someone who doesn't ski, but uh, we had a really good time. I fell a couple times, didn't get injured, which I was worried about. And uh, yeah, we had a, a great day in the snow up at uh, Sunshine, which is in, near Banff. If you're familiar with Canadian geography, Banff is about an hour and a half away from Calgary. So skiing, looking like I, I will probably try to pick that up a little more if I'm home in the winter next year. Within the 14 days that I was at home, aside from the skiing, I also had one show for um, the Chinook School of Music. They've been trying to book me for the past two years, two, two or three years, and um, it's never worked out. I've always been away at another show or on a ship or uh, out of town, so it's never quite worked out, but I did it this year finally. We had the show, it was a, a really fun show, really great crowd. Uh, they fed us some delicious Mexican food. Tori came with me to take some pictures and video, which was really nice. But uh, one show in February, um, and that, well, that's not quite true, but one show at home in February for Chinook School of Music, which was really fun. So I, I uh, hope they enjoyed it. Thanks for having me out if you're watching this and uh, hope to see you next year. Hope it works out. Now we get to the really fun stuff about February. On the 14th, Valentine's Day, uh, Tori and I, our friends Zach and Courtney, flew from Calgary to Mexico and started a little bit of a holiday. So we got to stay in this house uh, that Zach's parents own. Uh, it was really nice. We all got our, uh, most of us, got our own little room to stay in. And um, we were there for three days, just the four of us, and then everyone else met us for uh, the last four days, five days. But uh, we did so much in Mexico. It was jam-packed full of really fun stuff. We went on a catamaran, uh, which was awesome. We got, to, we got to party, we got to dance, we got to snorkel a little bit. Um, we also saw some whales uh, breaching, which was really cool. We watched a lot of that from the house, the balcony we could see onto the ocean and there was some whales breaching, but they were really far away. On the catamaran, they were right there and we got to see uh, a, a calf and uh, the ship, the boat said that it was the calf's mother. Could be, could be its father, who knows, but we got to see two whales breaching uh, on either sides of the catamaran, which was really cool. Uh, what else did we do in Mexico? We got uh, so many tacos. We got to eat so many tacos, so much good Mexican food, obviously. Mexico's the place to get it. Um, what else did we do in Mexico? Oh, pickleball. We played pickleball uh, one time. 
Tori and I got up in the morning, uh, Zach and Courtney went to the gym. Tori and I thought, ah, oh, let's go play a little game of pickleball. We played one game, I won, good for me. But I took this picture, you're seeing this picture right now, I took that picture and then we started a second game and Tori was kicking my ass, okay? She was beating the hell out of me. She served and the ball rolled underneath my foot and I stepped on it and I rolled the shit out of my ankle, okay? This thing hurt so bad, rolling my ankle. I fell to the ground immediately, I was near tears. I didn't cry. I was going back and forth between crying and laughing because it was hilarious, but it also hurt like hell. So rolled my ankle. That put an end to the pickleball. Um, I did have a little bit of a limp for the most, for the rest of the trip, but um, it, it kind of went away as we got towards the end. It still aches a little bit now, but I feel like we're going to be okay. Uh, so a little bit of a pickleball injury. What else did we do in Mexico? Oh, we got to hang out by the pool. That's not really my thing. I'm not a huge pool and sun person, but when in Mexico, you hang out in the sun and that's what everyone else wants to do. So uh, they got to do that. I went in when I was finished. I, I got in the pool every once in a while, but um, I would hang out in the house um, if I wasn't feeling it. The big find about Mexico, the big thing that I am taking away from the trip is a game for Nintendo Switch called Boomerang Fu. Um, I'm not a huge, game person. I'm not a huge um, gamer. I'm not a gamer. But I did buy a Switch recently and there's a few games that I really enjoy playing on there. Classic Mario Kart. I'm working my way through a game called Cuphead right now which is really popular. Um, but Zach found a game just before we left for Mexico called Boomerang Fu and you play as the character as a little fruit or a vegetable or a hot sauce bottle. That's my character. Um, and you run around and you have a boomerang and you just try to slash the other characters uh, in the game. So it, the, the rounds are really quick. It's really fun. It gets quite intense, but we played at least once a day. Um, we'd sometimes play at night just before bed, which everyone who was trying to sleep really enjoyed because we yelled at one another. But if you have a Switch and you like the sound of that game, I would recommend downloading it. It's quite cheap, super fun, and uh, it's, my, it's my big takeaway from the Mexico trip. Everyone else took away a tan, I took away this pasty skin and boomerang foo. To wrap up February, I am currently on a ship. You probably recognize the room. I am on the Valiant Lady. Uh, we are currently in Bridgetown, Barbados, and this is where I'll finish up February uh, on a ship. What's weird about this contract, though, is currently there are four magicians on the ship. There's myself, there's Nick Paul, who shares the same agent as me, there is Mark Clearview, and, uh, there is Andy the Charmer. So Andy is a crew member on board. He is part of the Happenings cast for Virgin Voyages. Nick, Paul, and myself are both festival stage acts, so we both have our own 45-minute show in one of the two theaters on board. And then Mark is part of the ship show, so he does a five-minute set in the ship show. Uh, but he did yesterday uh, his full 45 minute show in the Red Room. So there's so much magic to choose from on this ship and I'm super grateful to everyone on board who has come to see all of these shows. People are loving the magic. Uh, it could have gone either way. It could have been they saw one of the magic shows and then we're done with the magic uh, like most people would. I, I mean, I love magic and I'm not gonna go see 58 different magic shows, but uh, I'm grateful that they're enjoying the magic and I thank everyone on board for coming out to see them. I also need to thank the other magicians on board for being um, just super people. They're awesome. Uh, they, they've been super kind, super friendly. Uh, we're, we've been chatting all the time. Mark and I have known each other for two, a year and a half-ish now, so we, we know each other. We're, we're cordial. Uh, but Nick Paul has been fantastic and Andy the Charmer is super friendly and uh, I just I love having them all around It's really nice to meet other people who share an interest in the things that I share an interest in That brings us to the end of the February monthly update. Thank you so much for tuning in to this one I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been one year again. Thanks for sticking it out uh, I hope to keep these going I also hope to start releasing some other videos in conjunction with these monthly updates so my YouTube channel won't just be monthly updates. I hope to have some other uh, styles of videos coming out soon, figuring out what those will be. But if you like these, chances are you'll like my other content with uh, the different kinds of videos. So stick around to see those and we'll see you in March.